Hello, hello. All right, who's ready to talk about planning their wardrobe for all the fantastic vacations and getaways we have coming up this summer, right? The last year or so we've been home and hopefully some of you guys have been able to at least be able to um, hang out in your community. I know that we're in different stages across the world, but um, today we're going to be talking about planning your wardrobe while you're on vacation. And this is a huge one for, at least for me, um, there was a time where I would just seriously, I was the one that was just throwing a bunch of stuff into my suitcases. Cause for one, it didn't matter because we weren't charged by the suitcase. We could, you know, everyone could bring two suitcases, no problem. And I know some of that's changed um, more recently where it kind of forces us to be a little bit more thoughtful about what we're bringing. But seriously, the night before going on a, on a trip, I would just throw everything I could think of that I would need, shove it, sit on it, zip it up. I don't know who can relate. Tell me in the comments. I'm not the only one. If you're watching this on the replay or live, um, let me know what kind of a packer are you? Are you one that has always planned your packing for your vacations? Or if this is a new concept for you? So creating a capsule wardrobe, um, I had to do for a vacation that required me, I was gonna be gone for a couple of weeks and I was hitting several states with different similar climate, but was still different because one was on the East Coast and one was um, considered, mm, I guess, Midwest. So different weather and I needed it to be thoughtful and intentional. And this is the process that I went through to create my wardrobe for my capsule, my capsule wardrobe for my vacation. I am getting ready to go on another vacation in a couple of weeks. And guess what? I'm already started packing. I'm nearly packed. Um, but I pulled some things out here for you to show what kind of process that I went through. I'm hoping that you are able to um, plan some trips this summer, even if it's just for overnight, even if it's a staycation so that you can just enjoy um, what it feels like to kind of get away. Um, Anyway, so this is like the process. So the first thing that you want to do is check the weather of where you're going because it's going to greatly impact what you are bringing on your trip. So where you're going, the weather is going to play a huge part. If you are packing as a stylist for someone in advance, then still look up the weather, what is typical for that location so that you have a really good idea of what you're probably going to need and the, and also maybe make some other plans um, for inclement weather um, just to make sure that your client is prepared and ready to go. But whether this is for you or a client, you can go through this whole thing, um, this process with them. So at least these tips I'm going to share today. It's not the whole process. Um, the whole thing is inside the Style and Image Academy, but these tips will make a huge difference with your packing. So number one, check the weather. We talked about that. Number two, make sure you are allowing plenty of time to plan, shop, wash, and physically pack everything that you or your client is going to need for the trip. We don't, we want to make sure there's enough time to order something online and for it to come in if necessary, or you can go out and shop locally for the items that you need because really having everything can make or break a vacation, right? Having those basic necessities that, um, that could allow you to be a style icon on your vacation and still feel like you have everything that you need. So make sure you do those things. Um, number one, check the weather. Number two, plan, shop wash in plenty of advance so that you could have everything that you need for your vacation. Number three, you're going to need to pick a neutral. So if this is for you or for a client, make sure you find out what neutral they want. So your choices, their choices are black, white, 
dark brown, or navy. So those are the four colors, um, neutrals to choose from. Have them, you got to pick one. It, it, well, if it's a longer trip, like a 30 day trip or something, you could have more than one. But the, I'm planning today with you, we're going to go through a seven day vacation, which does not require that many neutrals. So you're going to pick one neutral and that is going to be the base of your your um, capsule vacation wardrobe. Okay. So just pick one and that will eliminate right away lots of options from your closet. So if you go to your closet and you're just overwhelmed, I'm not sure what to pack, pick a neutral and start pulling some things out. So over here, I, over here, you might see all these clothes that I have um, thrown here. So I know, so like when, where I'm going, it's 79 to 89, high is 89, low is 79. I personally like to wear dresses that are, um, you know, since I've been over 40, um, they just look more flattering. I found on me, they look more flattering. They're more comfortable to wear than, you know, t-shirts and shorts even. And I just prefer to wear dresses. So I'm gonna be bringing a lot of dresses. If you or your client is bringing a lot of shorts and shirts, you'll still go through the same process. You'll just do it more often. So for I just pulled out a few dresses that I knew I wanted to bring on my vacation or I thought, oh, these would be good options. OK, so this is one dress I'm bringing. I'm just going to show it to you and then I'll show you the shoes. So we'll go to shoes next. So I grabbed this dress and then I grabbed this dress. So these are the three dresses that I grabbed for a seven day trip. Um, so I picked a neutral. My neutral was black. You, I get one bag. So when you're packing light, you only want to pick one bag or purse, backpack or whatever. Whenever I do travel, though, my I always bring this backpack, this backpack purse bag. It's like the only time I really use it is when I'm traveling. But okay, it's not black, is it though? But I love this color with black. So even though I picked one neutral, um, your bag could be your hair color. That's what I always reckon. I always recommend if you're going to buy one purse, have it be your hair color. But I'm not bringing that purse because I'm bringing my backpack, and I like this with black, so I'm okay with that. So you get to decide, you know, in the end. But I, you'll see how this all works out. So that's my one bag that I'm bringing. Um, I'm not counting workout clothes and I'm not counting. Yeah, I'm not counting workout clothes in this. So my shoes that I'm bringing, and this is where you're going to see, these are my staple shoes. Everything that I am going to be bringing on this seven day trip are going to match these shoes. So there are, there's brown and this is, uh, if you can't tell, this is black. So the brown and black will go with these shoes. And so that's why I'm okay with the brown backpack and the black is my base neutral. Okay. Cause I have those shoes. So I'm going to take these shoes, right? Cause they got to go with everything we're packing. This is our light packing trip. We want to just be able to match everything that we bring. This is a capsule vacation. So I thought when I had bought this dress, you guys, I've never worn it, but I thought I would bring it on this trip that I'm planning. I'm not loving this, I'm not loving it, but those are the shoes that I decided on. So guess what? The stress is not actually going to be packed. Okay. So I wanted to show you what that looks like. So you can pull out some things, see if it goes. So this orange dress and these shoes, love it. I'm keeping that. Um, this dress and these shoes, I still like that. So I'm going to go with that. Um, so I've got two outfits, two shoes. We're good there. Okay. I'm going to be wearing an outfit on the airplane and it's going to be comfortable. I'm actually undecided on that, but I'll be wearing that back home too. So that's like two full days of traveling. It's going to be a full day to get there and back. So I am looking for five solid five outfits. Um, Another thing that I, I know I'm bringing, you guys, I know this is not on trend for the summer, but I love it. It's comfortable and it's perfect for where I'm going. 
for like an evening stroll on the beach or even um, around just walking around the town. So I'm bringing this black jumpsuit. Has this really pretty ruffle. I don't think you could see it. V shape in the back, but I love it. It's comfortable after being maybe hot outside and sunburnt. I think this is going to be perfect. And I got my shoe. It's going to be. It's going to look good. It matches, so it's it's a go. We're doing it. Okay. Then I'm also bringing this jumpsuit. I will not travel with these. I don't recommend traveling with these if you're going to be out in public just because you have to take it all off to use the restroom. So, but I will wear them like around the resort, um, around the beach, just to go grab something to eat in. So this is another day's. This is another pattern, but I like it with those shoes. So it's a go. Um, so now I have one, two, I have four outfits, just like that. They all match the shoes. Oh, keep in mind, I have another pair of shoes too. So I also have these shoes, these silver ones, and these actually go with all the outfits too. Just so you know, um, if I wanted something more comfortable to wear, I need to clean them up even on my farm. Did you know I have a farm? But those still work with all my outfits as well. So the silver tennis shoes, with those dresses and then these jumpsuits that I love. Okay, now I have these two shirts. So I was like, okay, so I need some shirts to go, right? To get to my seven outfits. So I have these two shirts is what I grabbed and the shoes, oh, the shoes look good with both of those outfits. And then I just have some denim. So I have some shorts to wear at the pool. And then I have like my longer like boyfriend fit pants. And you guys, that's my elf, that's my wardrobe. That's my capsule wardrobe for the seven days. Um, I'll probably wear one of these outfits on the airplane. I am also packing a layering piece in case it is um, a little chilly. I mean, the low is 79. So I, in case it's like windy or raining or something. I also am bringing this denim out jacket to go with all the outfits to throw on. Um, so that is that. And then I was going to show you, okay, so you can't go to the beach and not have a swimsuit, right? You need to have at least two. And I'm going to show you what I have. So I love I love sarongs and they're actually like on trend again. I don't know. I've had this for years and years. I've had this for a very long time. So we want to look like style icons, even at the pool, right? Or on the beach. So black obviously goes. Um, I love this blue. I love this blue swimsuit. And I think it still looks really good with the sarong. And then I also have a pattern. The stripe looks super cute. Look at that. So that still looks really good. These are all like pieces of a swimsuit. And then I have like these, this um, hot peak and peach. So, um, and those kind of look good too. Not, I really like the stripe though. Don't you? Which one's your favorite? Anyway, so having just kind of look to see how the colors look with your sarong. So whatever swimsuit you grab, with your strong, if you have one, you're good to go. And then I have some pool shoes. So you guys, three shoes is plenty for seven days. A tenant pair of tennis shoes. Um, a pair, I should say flip flops. I have a pair of flip flops. Well, they're more than flip flops. They're like the cushy kind. There's in case we have to do a lot of walking. Um, it's really good to have some support. Um, better than just like a flat and flip flop. Um, let's see, do you guys have any questions about packing for, um, doing a capsule wardrobe packing list for a vacation? Let me know if you have any questions about that before I wrap up with jewelry. I'm just going to hit you with some jewelry really quick. Um, if you're trying to pack light and be thoughtful about what you're bringing, I'm going to show you. Jewelry, you know, is not nearly as big as your other items of clothing. So you, I'm a little bit more flexible with jewelry, but I do want it to match majority of the items that I'm wearing, just like the shoes. I want those to match everything that I bring. 
the jewelry I want it to match too. And I grabbed this thinking of this orange dress because I thought that would be really cute. But when I looked at everything else, um, no, no. I mean, it would go with the black jumpsuit, but this is a no. I'm not gonna bring this necklace for two items. So that's a forget it. So that's going in the no pile with the navy polka dot dress. And so I just do that with all of my pieces and just kind of say, okay, how many items can I wear? And then just put it. So I know I'm bringing these. You guys, I love these blue ones. Um, and you know I'm bringing these big boys. And then I'm just going to bring some fun jewelry that I know I can just throw on. And it's going to look good. Put it in my jewelry bag and be good to go. I'm going to bring... Um, I have the silver shoes, so ooh, I might not bring the gold jewelry, actually, because I want everything to go. So I will bring the silver just to keep it nice and easy. But these are smaller pieces, so I'm not so picky about that. But um, let me know if where you're going to be packing. Hopefully, um, if you're going somewhere this summer, let me know. Um, but... And if you have any questions about packing, I would love to answer those for you. But that is it. So that is my tips. Wait, let me just make sure I covered all my tips. So number one, we'll just review really quick. Check your weather. Two, plan, shop, wash your clothes in advance so you're not doing this the night before or the morning of. You're going to hurry up and um, you're going to be calm, collective, well-planned, and thoughtful of what you're bringing. Number three, you're going to pick a neutral for your capsule wardrobe and base your outfits off of that. Four, make sure your shoes match everything, okay? And just don't even bring it if it doesn't match. Number five, jewelry can be more since it's small and light. So it's easy to pack those. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from... South Australia, good tips. Um, we are heading into winter here. Okay, well, it's the same thing. Even if it's winter, um, if you are packing to go somewhere in the winter time, you'll just, so as I, my, mine were jeans, but let's say you had picked um, a neutral and you just do the same thing like you saw me do with the shoes or go back and watch it where I took the shoes and said, does this look good with this outfit? But you would take it with the bottom and the top. And then you would want the bottom and the top to, on a seven day trip, it really should be 100%, like match everything. But if you can't, you know, if it matches three out of the seven things, or maybe if it matches most of the bottoms, you know, three out of, or two out of three of the bottoms or something, depending on how many skirts and dresses, then you could do that. But just, just, just do the same thing. Like what I did with the shoes, I brought the shoes up with the shirt and paired it. So if you do it with a sweater and some pants and, a, and what your accessories, take your accessories. If you have scarves, hats, gloves, and just see how they look. And with a vacation, um, you really want them to almost match 100% of what you're bringing in an actual wardrobe. If you have a capsule wardrobe, it does, uh, it does not need to be 100%. It would just need to be um, probably somewhere between two thirds and one half of the bottoms matching the top. So just go through, just make sure that they match and create a complete outfit. As many outfits as you can. Keep in mind, like you could take a top and then see how many bottoms it will match with. And then when you're on your trip, you have some freedom to say, okay, I feel like wearing this top today with the, these bottoms. And then they, you could just mix and match up and you don't have to stress about it and just have the one outfit that goes in case you get those pants, you know, dirty or that shirt dirty and then you can't and then you can't wear it or you have to go back and change. And on vacation, it's a little bit harder than if you're at home. So hopefully you found those tips helpful. Let me know if you watched it and what your favorite tip was. And we'll talk to you next week. I I don't think I introduced myself. I'm Afton Porter and I go live in here every Tuesday to share 
fashion tips that will help you be well-dressed so that you can show up powerfully in your life every day. Love you guys. Good night.